thank God God has freed us from all that falsehood. And we give God thanks. I'm not going to take up any more of the time. We give God thanks for a leader. He's the messenger of the almighty God, Pastor Gino Jennings. Keep working on me, Lord. Keep working on me.
Greetings, brothers and sisters. We thank the one true living God who is the master of creation, Lord of heaven and earth. We thank him for his divine wisdom and his perfect infallible understanding of all things. We thank him for being the true sender and true teacher of holy prophets and of holy apostles. We thank him for the greatest way that has ever been revealed to the human family, which is the way of holiness. The Bible says, holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. We are glad to be back in another holy convocation here in Jamaica. And for the many that is here, and we're sorry for you that can't fit in, that's sitting outside, but it is good for us to be here. Yes, to all of our ministers, and to our guests, and to you that are watching from different parts of the world, from around the world, it is that time to get yourself right with God again. The truth of God message is a get right message. It's an old-fashioned, holy, sanctified message. Old folks used to say they belong to a holy, sanctified church. Well, this is a holy church where we firmly believe in sanctification. In other words, you must be set apart, set aside for the using of God. And that's what God is calling for, a holy, sanctified people. God has never asked for anything else but to be holy and sanctified. So we are grateful because God is making provisions for the truth of God, not just here in Jamaica, but every place around the world where this message go in. God makes provisions for us. To our viewers, I want to remind you our international headquarters campus is 5105 North 5th Street in the wicked city of Philadelphia in the ungodly country of America. You're welcome to come <laughs> and hear the word of God preach in the midst of all of that ungodliness. The word of the Lord is being preached. And everybody should take advantage of this while you live. Because the Lord is truly coming. And I know many of you downplay that because some of us been hearing this since we've been born. The Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. In fact, even the Lord wrote or had one of the apostles preach about that statement. And showed us the way people felt back then. In the book of 2 Peter chapter 3. Follow me. 2 Peter chapter 3 and we're starting at verse Let 1. Let me just briefly read this to you. 2 Peter chapter 3, we're starting at verse 1. All right. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you. Yes. Both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Down at verse 4. Uh -huh. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? You better begin at verse 3. At verse 3. Uh -huh. Knowing this first. Knowing this first. That there shall come in the last day scoffers. They're here. Mm -hmm. Scoffers are here. Yeah. They talk down about the word of God and uplift Satan. That's right. Because they don't believe the Bible. Right away they try to blame the contents of the Bible on Europe. And said the European wrote the Bible. It's not a European or an African. Have what it takes to put together something like this. Mm. Only God can design something that's so against man's will on every hand. Mm. Listen now. Knowing this first. That Knowing there, this first. That there shall come in the last day scoffers. The last day scoffers. Walking after their own lust. Uh -huh. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? This is what they say. And this is the way people are now. Yeah. Where is the promise of the coming of this Lord? For since the fathers since fell asleep. Since our fathers died. All things everything continue as they were. the way it is. From the beginning of the creation. Uh -huh. For this they willingly are ignorant of. Wait a minute. Viewers, I know some of you that are watching hard Head stubborn, beer guzzling heathens. Hmm. 
Many of you have totally fell in unbelief mm. that the Lord is coming. In fact, the devil have you so deceived you don't even believe that God is real. Mm. Some that have once served the Lord but have turned their back on him in such a manner until they say, well, the only thing that's going to destroy the world is man. No. No, man may destroy himself, but it'll be God himself that will destroy creation. That's right. Because it wasn't man that built creation. I remember some years ago, I believe it was about 2005, I was debate, debating five men from the nation of Islam. And uh, two of those fellows, four or five of them, but two of them, I asked the question to one, who made the universe? He said, man. <laughs> you know, such ignorance can give you such bad back pain. <laughs> I said, who made the universe? He said, man. And then there was a Sunni Muslim that was so agitated at the ignorance of the nation of Islam fella he yelled out well who made the sun because the Sunni Muslim knew no man made the sun no man made the stars and no man made the moon only the Lord of heaven and earth the author of creation and he is going to be the ending of creation all right, son. For this they willingly are ignorant of. For this they are willingly ignorant. That by the word of God the, the heavens of were of God. old. Wait a minute. What did he say? By the word of God. By God's word. The heavens were of old. The heavens were of old. And the earth standing the out earth of the water and in the water. Out of the water and in the water. Hold it right there. Let me explain that. The earth was in the water and out of the water. That's talking about the days of Noah. What do the Bible mean when it says the earth was in the water? That means the earth was covered by water. What does it mean that the earth was out of the water? Because Noah and those that was in the ark and the contents of the ark was earthly. Right. And that's how the earth was out of the water because the earth was sailing on the water. That's right. You get what I'm telling you. All right. Whereby the world that then was. The world that then was. Being overflowed with water perished. All right. You get this, viewers. Mm -hmm. Because back then, they had full of unbelief. That's right. Hundreds did not believe that it was going to rain. Mm -hmm. But you didn't make God angry. No. You didn't move God. Mm -mm. He's still a God of his word. That's right. And look at what he say now. It won't but be. A flood this time. Mm -mm. It's going to be fire. But the heavens and the earth which are now. Do you hear this? But the heavens and the earth which are now. The heavens and the earth which are what? Which are now. Right now. Internet running all around the world. And social media. And all these religions all over the world. He's talking to you. But the heavens He's and the earth. He's talking to you. Mr. Rabbi and Imam and monk and so-called reverend half junior apostle and little deacon and half pint elder and a quarter of an inch bishop. Amen. He's talking to you, Amen. woman preacher, woman evangelist, deaconess. He's talking to you, prophetess. That's right. The world. But the heavens and the, the earth. The heavens and the earth. Which are now. Right now. By the same word. Wait a minute. Hmm. By a different message. By the same word. I keep telling you, this message don't change. That's right. It's the same word. Same word. And are kept in store. Kept in store reserved reserved. unto fire. Wait a minute. What is heaven and earth reserved for? Reserved unto fire. Amen. You can hate this program all you want. But when Jesus comes, oh, yeah. those that have obeyed it. It's going to be happy oh, yeah. when they defy the law of gravity. That's right. When the Lord God himself filled all the heavens. <laughs> Glory to God in the sound of his voice is equal to the sound of a trumpet. That's why it's called the trump of God. That's right. And the dead, it doesn't matter where you are, if a 
fish ate you up and spewed you out as dung. All the particles of your body are going to be quickened. And God is going to bring your flesh back together. And millions shall come out of the waters around the world and out of the graves. And the dead in Christ, in Christ, shall be caught up together them that are alive and them that are asleep. And the only ones that's going up, get what I'm about to tell you, the only ones. And I know you may say I'm narrow-minded, but I'm going to give Bible for this. The only ones that's going back with God are holy. That's right. Tell them, say, I don't believe that. Revelation. Give me the book of Revelation. Chapter 20. And at verse In 6. this world. Revelation chapter world, 20. That's right. Get this. Revelation chapter get 20. This, the only ones that's going back with God Hallelujah. are holy. That's right. You didn't know that? That's right. Tell them, say, I'm Baptist. You're going to stay here. <laughs> Pastor Jennings, I'm Methodist. That's all right. You're staying right here. Oh, yeah. Pastor Jennings, I'm the Archdiocese Bishop of the Catholic Church, and I'm the next one in line to be the Pope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put on your red shoes. You're staying here. That's right. Pastor Jennings, I face the great Kaaba. And I look to the east, Allah, Akbar, Allah, Akbar, Alhamdulillah. You're staying right here. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. As a Jennings, I'm a Harry Krishna. You and Harry staying right here. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor Jennings, I'm a Rastafarian, and we follow Harry Selassie. He's dead. You're staying right here. That's right. Nobody's going back with God but holy people. That's right. And the Lord is not taking no one back with him but holy people. People. That's right. That's right. Blessed be the name of God. Hallelujah. As a genius, I'm Jehovah Witness. All right, but you're staying here. That's right. As a genius, I'm apostolic. The Lord didn't say he's coming for apostolic. The Lord said, Blessed and holy and holy is he, is he that has part that have part in the first in the first, 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 right. resurrection, all and such. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can call yourself whatever you want. Whatever you want. Blessed. Do you hear the Bible talking? In Revelation 20 and verse 6. Bless. Think of it. Think of it, viewers, and you out of here. When you was everything else other than holy, we were lost. Yeah. Baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and yet had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue and that's all most folk have. That's right. That's the introduction to the faith. I want to say, well, don't the baptism in the Holy Ghost make you holy? No. No. Teaching makes you holy. That's right. That just caused you to be born again. That's right. Without teaching, you will be unholy with the Holy Ghost. Because with the Holy Ghost, you got to have holy commandments. That's right. Jesus isn't coming back for nothing else mm -hmm. but holy. Blessed and holy. Wait a minute. If I'm holy, whatever. Blessed. Amen. Now, viewers, don't walk inside of a church because they got on their holiness church. I don't mean nothing. Nothing. Holiness is a teaching. Yes. 
is the teaching that comes from a holy God. That's right. Holiness describes the characteristics of God. That's right. All of God's teaching is clean, pure, undefiled, without corruption, yeah. without deviation, mm -hmm. without compromise. His teaching has no flexibility in doctrine. That's right. Whatever he gave the apostles is for us That's right. now. Amen. Because a person got on their church apples with stomachs. I don't mean nothing. No. The Catholic Church is the first religious organization that called themselves apostolic. And look at the trash they have. Amen. Now, viewers, you think the Lord is coming for Christianity. Mm. Christianity is not. I want to make it so plain in case your television get fuzzy. <laughs> Christianity is not the religion of God, have never been the religion of God. Not even Jesus came to start a religion called Christianity. No. They were first called Christians, given the book of Acts of the Apostles, mm -hmm. in a place called Antioch. Before there was an Antioch, I want to get asked him, then I want the 19th chapter of the book, thank God of Leviticus. Mm -hmm. Amen. There was first called Christians at Antioch. That's right. Now listen at this. Mm -hmm. Come on, son. Amen. All right, give me the 19th chapter book of Leviticus, because Le you're taking too long. Leviticus 19 and at verse 1. What is it? And the Lord spake unto Moses. The said, Lord spake to Moses. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. And say what? And say unto them, ye shall be holy. Wait a minute. Who said for this to take place? And the Lord spake unto Moses. No, Pastor Jennings said it. And the Lord spake unto Moses. Pastor Jennings started that holy stuff. And the Lord spake unto Moses. Bishop Johnson started. And the Lord spake unto Moses. Bishop Lawson started. And the Lord spake unto Moses. This is all about the Lord. That's right. And he told Moses. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. tell all the congregation of Israel. And say that unto ye them. ye should be Methodists. Ye shall be holy. I want to say, Pastor Jennings, I heard you preach that before. I'm going to keep preaching it till you come out of that church. Amen. Jamaica, you watching me this morning over CVM. Amen. Just look at the fellow that been screaming before we came on. I was watching the program this morning. I don't know who this young fellow was, but he was so dramatic. He laid on the pulpit of his fake church. They stretched out their face down with the microphone to his face. Oh, how dramatic heathens are. <laughs> Facing down to where he's going, to hell. My Lord. That's why some of you don't like me because I don't bite my tongue. Your preacher's afraid to tell you what you should hear. That's right. What keep him from telling you what you should hear? The money you give him. Yeah. The preachers here in Jamaica are influenced by the American preachers that they watch on television. That's right. So when they see Jake's and Allstein and look at the mega church and look at the jets and look at the Rolls Royce and the yachts and the mansions, that's what they want. That's right. Someone said, Pastor Jennings, do you want a mansion? I confess, yes. Yes. I do. Me too. Pastor Jenny, you want a mansion? Yes. Oh, yes. I would like to have one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you going to have one one day? Yes. God be my helper. Yes. Let not your heart be troubled. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I'm so determined to have one, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. That's right. I'm not even going to be troubled about it. Ye believe in God. Because I believe in God and Jesus said believe also in him. In my father's in house. In my father's house. Are many mansions. Are many mansions. If it were not so. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's the mansion that I'm talking. Yeah. That's right. Let me give you the dimensions of this mansion. Amen. The whole city lies four square. The breadth and the height and the length thereof and the wall of the city are equal. That's right. You better get Bible for this. In Revelation chapter 21. And we'll start reading at verse 11. Yes. Having the glory of God. Uh -huh. And her light was like unto a stone most precious. Yes. Even like unto a jasper stone clear uh -huh. as crystal. And had a wall great and high. And have a wall great and high. And had 12 gates. And listen, the Bible said, I saw New Jerusalem. That's right. Come down from God out of heaven. And he carried me away. Do you hear this? In Revelation 21 and verse 10. He carried me away. In the spirit. Where? In the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A spirit-filled church is not focused on materialism. That's right. A spirit-filled church seeks first the kingdom of God. That's right. And in righteousness, and then all things will be added unto the church. Right. So when I say I want a mansion, yes, I want the one that the Lord the prepared. Lord. That's right. For the church. That's right. Amen. In that mansion, I ain't got to worry about preaching. No. I won't be preaching there. No. It won't be a Baptist residence there. <laughs> no Methodist there. No Presbyterian. No. Joel Austin. Mm -hmm. Joel Austin, you said every religion going to be there. You're going to be surprised because you won't be there. Blessed and holy is he. New Jerusalem are prepared for holy people. Holy. That's right. Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Now hold it. That let you know that New Jerusalem is dressed up yeah. as a bride get prepared for the day of marriage. That's right. And she makes sure there is no spot on her garment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Make sure everything is pressed right. Mm -hmm. Now, church, you're the bride. That's right. And God is the husband man. That's right. And the reason why the husband man did not come for the bride yet. Because all the spots is not out the church. That's right. So he gave us a cleaning solution. Mm -hmm. Called the scriptures. Yeah. And I have to use it. To clean up the members. Of the body. Of the church. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Your gown is not pressed. Perfectly yet. Right. Because there's a wrinkle there. Yeah. And there's some such things. Such things. Every. False teaching. Every damnable doctrine must come out of us. That's right. Because we are victims of bad teaching, and therefore the scriptures come along to undo everything what the devil have done. That's right. Are you getting this? Yeah. What did he say? And he carried me away, he carried in, the me spirit away in the spirit to a great and high, mountain, great and high and mountain and showed me that, showed great, me city, that great city, the holy Jerusalem. Wait a minute. Baptist Jerusalem. Holy Jerusalem. Lutheran Jerusalem. Holy Jerusalem. What's the matter with you people? Everything points to holy in the Bible. That's right. Even the highway that we walk on. That's right. A highway shall be there and a way that shall be called the way of holiness. Everything points to holy in the scriptures. That's right. Uh -huh. And showed me that great Holy city, that Jerusalem. great holy city, New Jerusalem. Descending out of heaven from God. Yes. Having the glory of God. Wait a minute. They have the glory of who? Having the glory of God. The glory of G-O-D-S. The glory of G-O-D. All right, viewers. Where are your other two gods going to be? That's right. That's right. Because New Jerusalem will only have the glory of one. Yes. The glory of God. The glory of one. That's right. Not the glory of three distinct personalities. No. no, only one. That's right. Listen. And her light was like unto a stone most precious. Yes. Even like a jasper stone. Uh -huh. Clear as crystal. Clear as crystal. And had a wall great and high. A wall great and high. And had twelve gates. Twelve gates. And at the gates twelve angels. Twelve angels. And names written there. And thereon, the names that was written there. Which are the names which of are the twelve the tribes of the, the children of Israel. The twelve tribes of Israel. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates. 
and on the west three gates. Yes. And the wall of the city had 12 foundations. And what? And in them the names of the 12 apostles. Wait a minute. Notice. The wall of the city had what? And the wall of the city had 12 foundations. Why? And in Why them, the name of the 12 apostles were where the foundations were. Right. Other foundations can no man lay than that which is laid. When Jesus was here, he laid the foundation of the church by teaching to his apostles. That's right. That's why nobody, hear me good, nobody can come lay another foundation. That's right. Now, the name of the 12 apostles was on the foundation. And in them, in them the, names the names of the 12 apostles. Hold it. That includes Judas. That's right. Tyrone said, but Judas betrayed him. That don't change the fact he once was an apostle. That's right. The Bible didn't say he was there. No. It said his the name names. was there. The names. <laughs> Amen. Someone said, but Judas died and Matthias took his place. That's right, but Matthias was not the original 12. That's right. Matthias was not one of the original 12. Matthias was just in the company while the 12 was here in and out with Jesus. Now the names of the 12 apostles are these. What? The names of the 12 apostles are these. And what the revelation said. And in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Give chapter and verse in the book of Matthew. Now in Matthew chapter 10, we're at verse 2. Wait a minute. Hold, hold it. Go back to Revelation and read that again. Back in Revelation chapter 21 and at verse, 15, at verse 15. Says what? And in them. In them. The names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The twelve apostles of who? Of the Lamb. That means the twelve that was chosen when he was the Lamb of God, the Son of God, the Messiah, flesh and blood walking this earth. That's right. Barnabas' name is not there. Right. Paul's name is not there. That's right. Because by the time Paul and Barnabas came, the lamb was slain. That's right. Eh? That's right. By the time Paul and Barnabas came, the lamb was slain. He was put to death in the flesh and quickened by the spirit of the lamb. Revelation 21 and verse 14. Listen. And in them. In them. The name. In the name. Of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. Now let's go to the book of Matthew. Now in Matthew chapter 10 and at verse 2. Follow me. Now the names of the 12 apostles are these. Now this is the name of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. The first Simon. Simon. Who was called Peter. Yes. And Andrew his brother. Yes. James the son of Zebedee. Yes. And John his brother. Uh -huh. Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas and Matthew the publican. James the son of Alphaeus. And Labius, whose surname was that, whose surname was Thaddeus, uh -huh. Simon the Canaanite, Simon the Canaanite, and, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. Are you getting me? Amen. That's the twelve. Twelve apostles of the Lamb. Apostles of the Lamb. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling? That's, That's right. right. So New Jerusalem. The Lord went away to prepare that for the church. And the city lies four square. City lies four square. And the length the is length. as large as the breadth. Uh -huh. And he measured the city with the reed. And did what? 12,000 furlongs. 12,000 furlongs. The length. The length. And the breadth. And the breadth and, and the, the height, height thereof. Are equal. They're equal. And he measured the wall thereof. What was it? And 144 cubits. 100 and what? 144 cubits. 144 cubits. 44 cubits. According to the measure of a man. According to the measurement of the man. That is of the angel. What is it? And the building of the wall. The building of the wall. Of it was of jasper. Uh -huh. And the city was pure gold. Now, this is what the colonel mind said. Pastor Jenny, you preach against jewelry. Well, if the Lord didn't want no jewelry, why would he have gold and jasper and New Jerusalem? Mm. <laughs> you preach against jewelry. Jewelry here on earth was used for idolatry. Right. There is no idols in New Jerusalem. That's right. Right. God used gold and God used jasper, jasper. to show you how precious That's right. the city is. That's right. You can have on gold in your mouth and in your finger. That don't make you precious. No. What make you precious now? 
the name of the Lord Jesus. Right. When you repent of your sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost and follow the doctrine, the teaching, the instruction of the apostles that make you a precious people. That's right. You ain't precious or valuable because you got gold or you's a millionaire and got a lim limousine. You're nothing but a rich sinner. That's all. Huh? That's all. That's all you are. That's it. All right, now, let's just stop there. Give me the book of Kings. I didn't plan on holding that subject that long. I want the book of Kings. I want yeah. to show you the condition of the church mm -hmm. by showing you the condition of the altar in the days of the prophet Elijah. Mm. In the book All of right, First Kings. Me in your Bible now. In the book of 1 Kings chapter 18. And we'll start reading at verse 29. All right. And it came to pass when midday was past, and they prophesied unto the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice. Yes. That there was neither voice nor any to answer. Now, in every form of religion, mm -hmm. mostly every religion under the sun, mm -hmm. believe in some form of prophet. That's right. I don't care what that religion called itself. Somebody considered themselves a prophet. That's right. Yes. Now, God is not the only one that make prophets. No. But he is the only one that make true prophets. That's right. Notice the language of what I said. Mm -hmm. God is not the only one that make prophets, but he is the only one that make true prophets. That's right. True prophets, when they prophesy by the moving of God, because God can't lie, the true message of a prophet will come to pass because it is God that deals with him. A false prophet will say something out of feeling. But the prophet. The false prophet is sent by the devil. Right. He works for the devil. Mm -hmm. You know, viewer, and some of you that are here, your pastor. Mm -hmm. False prophet. Yeah. What is a false prophet? First of all, what is a prophet? Messenger. What is false, fake, unreal, not legitimate, not justifiable, not scripturally legal? That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. You know, you may not have no money. You may be broke. But you can't go print some. No. You can't go print some and make some money on your own. Oh, no. Because that money will be forgery. You, you won't, it won't be legal. Mm -hmm. Well, men have started religion without any form of biblical uh, legal moves. They took it upon themselves. That's right. Now, when you're biblically legal, biblically right, as when you follow what was already left, That's right. then you're justified. But ye are forgers of lies. What? In the book of Job chapter 13 and at verse 4. You are forgers. Of lies. Forgers. Forgers. You know, you have a lot of forgers of currency. You have a lot of forgers of religion. Men forge religion. Mm -hmm. Episcopalian, Protestant, Lutheran, Presbyterian, all of that broke off from the Catholic Church. The Lutheran is named after a man named Luther mm -hmm. who had qualms with certain teachings of the Catholic Church. So Luther rose up against the Catholic Church and start his own religion, and the religion was named after him, after him, Luther, Lutheran. Right. Luther, Lutheran. That's right. So when you say you are Lutheran, you're not saying you are a follower of Jesus, you're saying you're a follower of Luther. That's right. That's right. Get me. That's right. Amen. So when men start religion, they forged it. Forged it. Forged it. Mm -hmm. But ye are forgers of forgers lies. Forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians. You're all physicians. Of no value. Wait a minute. What good is a doctor if he don't know what he's doing? Amen. What good is going to a church and got a preacher if he don't have a message that can save your soul? That's right. What the purpose is. of you coming to church, God has made us a physician. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. What do you use, Pastor Jennings? A hammer <laughs> and an axe. That's right. And a sword. That's right. Those are my operating tools. Amen. I have to use a hammer because some folks are more hard headed than others when they come in for surgery. <laughs> huh? Amen. And when I look over the body, 
I had, well, let me see what it calls for. I only got three tools to choose from. Sword, hammer, or axe. So when I look at you and look at how much damnable doctrine you have and how much you're holding on to it, amen. I take the sword first and work on that and cut you and disconnect you from that religion. And then I see your heart is trying to grow back to it. So then I have to get the axe and Get the roots. That way your heart no more is nurtured by the religion. And when your heart ceases to be nurtured by your past belief, you will cease to love it. That's right. And then I got to take the hammer and hit you over the head. <laughs> so you can stop thinking like a fool. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Let's go back to Kings. What did he say? Back in 1 Kings 18 and verse 29. All right. And it came to pass when midday was passed. Yes. And they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, that there was neither voice nor any to answer nor any that regarded. Yes. And Elijah said unto all the people. Elijah said to all the people. Come near unto me. That's what I'm telling the folk. You come close. That's right. Uh -huh. And all the people came near unto him. Yes. And he repaired. The altar of the Lord that was broken down. Well, first, let's see why it was broken down. First in 1 Kings 18 and at verse 21. Right, God, let's go to why it was broken down, son. That's right. Come on, son. 1 Kings 20, uh, 18 at verse 21. All right. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? That's what I want to know. How long? Some of you here visiting, you know it's the truth. Right. But you've been in that church here in Jamaica so long. You're trying to wait on your husband to leave. That's right. Husband, you're trying to wait on the wife to leave. Yeah. Both of you are trying to wait on your in-laws to leave. That's right. Halt ye. Between Husband, say, well, Pastor Dennis, if I leave, my, my wife's going to get mad at me. If you stay, you're going to go to hell. So you choose. That's right. Between your wife's thighs or the lake of fire. Mm. Amen. Woman, you choose. Pastor Dennis, if I leave, my husband said he's going to divorce me. If he choose between... Fearing your husband divorce papers or going to hell. Right. That's right. As a genius, I want to come out, but I'm afraid if I leave my church, I can't be a bishop in your church. This is not my church. That's right. When you buy a house, you don't buy a house with the furniture already in it. You bring your furniture. That's you right. don't worry about your title when you come here. You come here worrying about your soul. Amen. I don't care what title you have. Listen, if you're Gabriel's uncle, if he got an uncle when you come in here, and Gabriel's name is tattooed on your left wing, I'm going to look at you and tell you, if you bring any other gospel different from what the word of God said, you are cursed. That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? That's right. This gospel don't bow to angels. In heaven, and it don't bow to men on earth. That's right. Listen. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? Why are you so undecided? Viewers mm -hmm. that are watching and listening, there's thousands of you now trying to decide whether to obey God or whether to stay in that false religion you're in. Multitudes, multitudes. Listen at the prophet. In the book of Joel, chapter 3 and verse 14. How much of them? Multitudes. How much of them? Multitudes. How much of them? Multitudes. A whole lot of folk. In the valley of decision. They're where? In the valley of decision. But what about the Lord? For the day of the Lord is near. To who? In the valley of decision. You sit there and be undecided all you want. The coming of the Lord is getting closer. That's right. The Lord ain't waiting for us to make up our mind about nothing. Oh, no. The coming of the Lord get closer and closer while you yeah. still trying to decide. That's right. Hey, mister, mister, while you still trying to figure out whether you're a man or a woman, the Lord is coming. That's right. Hey, miss, while you're trying to figure out whether you're a woman or a man, the Lord is coming. I don't know whether it's here in Jamaica, but God knows all over America. All over America now, on the job, my son called me. He said, Pop, there's a transgender in here. Amen. And my son is responsible for hiring and firing on his job. And the laws of America now is this. And I want everybody to hear me and get this. The laws of America is this. If a woman come to the job, Say her name is Geraldine, but she's dressed like a man. 
and she don't want you to call her Geraldine, but want to go by the name of Jerry. <laughs> and the law give her right. Now they have it this way. You know where they used to have gender, male, a female? Now they got male, female, and other. My Lord, my Lord. I want to say to all believers, all believers, here, 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 hear what I'm telling you now. Have you not read? All believers and all followers of the truth of God. Anytime you know that's a man sitting in front of you, don't you ever call him her. Right. Because you're scared to lose your job. Right. Don't you call him her and don't you call she he. Amen. Call him by what he is. Right. When you do that, it shows you respect God's law first. Yes. And you take man's law and dump it in the trash. That's right. We believe in the laws of the land as long as those laws don't contradict God's word. But if the laws of the land made in any country in the world contradict God's word, we will fight that law. Oh, yeah. Now, churches. All around America, holding conferences, Lord. special conferences with board of directors and bishops. They say we want to read this, this, discuss the homosexual same sex marriage issue. Mm -hmm. The Anglican Church, one of the oldest organizations around, used to be against it, but now because of pressure. Apostolic churches in America revisiting homosexual question. The Baptists are doing it. There's even some so called Muslim mosque that believe in same sex marriages. Some synagogues, same sex marriages. You let any brother come in here just like a woman. Imagine Brother Baker. I won't get Gary this time, I'll get Baker. Imagine Brother Baker, stand up, I want the world to know who I'm talking about. Imagine Brother Baker come in with a skirt as short as his jacket, a wig on, hair hanging down, and still talking about he's an overseer. Amen. Some of the churches here in Jamaica is bowing to it. In other words, churches are willing to deny God if it will increase membership and money. That's right. God has proven to us you do not have to deny him. You do not have to turn your back on him. You can be strict, firm, solid, and stick to the word and he will give the increase. That's right. He has proven it to us. What did he say? And Elijah came unto all the people. And said what? And said, how long halt you between two opinions? How long, preacher? How long? Preacher. Preacher, you know God ain't made you a preacher. How long are you going to stay in that fake religion? How long? I thought about my brother, Brother Sean, who was cutting my hair this morning. <laughs> I had to laugh so hard. He gave me his testimony. Uh, he was in a Trinitarian church. And he said, Pastor Jenny, when I heard you and my understanding came open to the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, he told me something I didn't know. He said, I was, they, the Trinitarians had him in the pulpit mm. trying to preach <laughs> with no Holy Ghost. Boy. He said, so... When I heard about the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and understood it, he said, uh, I went back to the Trinitarian church and I got in the pulpit and told them, repent <laughs> and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. It wasn't for long they ushered him out, but he got his thought over. <laughs> Glory to God. Yeah. 
Listen at this. And Elijah came unto all the people. And said what? And said, how long halt ye between two opinions? Uh -huh. If the Lord be God. All right, get this. If the Lord be God. Follow him. Follow them. Him. Them. Him. You folk that got all of these gods, you're sent by the devil. That's right. The Bible speaks plain. If the Lord be God, follow him. All right. I want this to be good for Brother Wayne Smith from the Church of God in Christ that I debated about Trinity. Mm. Yeah. He was busy talking about Greek, Hebrew, and Latin. And once in a while, he still texts me. He stay in contact with me. Yeah. You know, he stay in contact with me. Wayne, you might as well get ready to give up and repent. <laughs> we still got water reserved for you. We even got clothes that'll fit you. <laughs> That's right. Huh? So he still texts me in about Elohim. Mm -hmm. Now, in the Hebrew phrase, Elohim does mean plural. Mm -hmm. It talks about God, yeah. but it means plural. Mm -hmm. But it don't mean it's plural in the Godhead. Right. Can you take the word plural and attach it to God? Yes. yes. What is it about God that's plural? His works. Oh, right. Amen. Glory to God. That's right. The works of God is plural because the works of God is many and the works of God is from everlasting. But the Godhead himself is not plural. Right. But his works are plural. So yes, he's Elohim in works, but he's not Elohim in Godhead. That's right. Amen. I want you to get this. Listen at this. If now. the Lord be God, if the Lord be God, follow him. Follow them. Him. Them. Him. All of you that's following them, you're not following God. No. Here. If, Here now. If, if the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, if the devil, then follow him. Then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. All right. Then said Elijah unto the people. What? I, even I, only remain a prophet of the Lord. And? But Baal's prophets are 450 men. They have never, never been a whole lot of God sent men. All right. That's right. All right. All right. Never. Never. They have never been a whole lot of God sent men. That's right. You always had more false prophets. Even Jesus said, many false prophets will come. Jesus ain't never said, many true prophets will come. No. He said, many false prophets will come and will deceive many. Many. But when it comes to God's preachers, just a few. Few. Think of it. He only had 12 and then told them, go into all the world. 12 men 12 for the men. world? That's right. That's right. Have you ever even thought of that? Get 12 and tell them, Go to all the world. Twelve? Twelve. For the world? For the world. That's For the whole world? Twelve? <laughs> that's right. Glory to God. That lets you know that only God's men that's called and sent of God is only very few in number. That's right. The reason why it's few in number because God knows we're living in a time men today will get in the pulpit and sell out for money so fast. Oh, yeah. Amen. They sell out for money. They sell out the pulpit is not a place to get rich off the people. No. You're not in this for position. You're not in this for notoriety. You're not in this for fame. And don't worry about a title. And don't get drunk off authority. That's right. Listen. Then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I, only remain a prophet of the Lord. And what? But Baal's prophets are 450 men. Yes. Let them therefore give us two bullocks. Uh -huh. and let them choose one bullock for themselves. And uh -huh. look at Elijah going to test the worship of Baal prophets. Right. Mm -hmm. Let them therefore give us two bullocks. Give me two bullocks. And let them choose one bullock choose for themselves, among themselves. And cut it in pieces. Cut it up. And lay it on wood. Lay it on wood. And put no fire under Don't it. Don't put no fire under it. And I will dress the other bullock. I will dress the other bullock. And lay it on wood. I will lay it on wood. And put no fire and under it. And I won't put no fire on it and, either. And call ye on the and name. And you call on the name. Of your gods. Of your what? Of your gods. That's what I'm telling the world. That's right. We hold there's one God. That's right. You call on the name of your G-O-D-S. Of your God. And you won't get an answer. That's right. That's right. I call on my one God. That's right. Who is your one God, Pastor Janet? Why, well, he's the one that made the earth you're standing on. Oh, yeah. 
He's the one that opened up the Red Sea for my former brothers and sisters. Oh, yeah. He's the one when Moses threw the rod down, turned the rod to a serpent and ate up all other rods. He visited Israel by day as a cloud and by night, a pillow of fire. That's right. Amen. The one that filled up the woman's meal barrel and gave her meal after she fixed the last cake for the prophet. Amen. Huh? Amen. The God that answered. By fire. Let him. You be. call on your gods. And I. And I. Will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of how many lords? On the name of the Lord. And you folk come to out. He's monotheism. <laughs> Amen. We only have one God. That's right. I want every viewer from every country in the world. That's right. If you have any other God apart from Christ who created the universe, your God is a fraud. Amen. There's only one creator. That's right. Did you hear what the Bible says in the book of Kings? And call ye on the name of your gods. That's what I want you to do, viewers. Tell me who is your gods. Mm -hmm. Who are they? Here's a mortal man telling you that if you got more than one God, I challenge your, one, your other two. That's right. I take your other two gods. I went inside of a Hindu temple uh, about two weeks ago. I was in Minneapolis, Minnesota, looking at some churches. So we've uh, we, we been renting there for years and found the place, Hindu temple. And I went in there. They asked me to take off my shoes. I took them off and put them up there. There was a big life-size gold statue. And the men and the women were sitting there with their shoes off. Just praying to a mouth, just moving. I wish I could have made the image, stood up and shake. Everybody would have ran out. <laughs> you people that got pictures of a little white Jesus in your home. Yeah. That's idolatry. That's right. You people that wear a cross around your neck with a little image on it, you think it's Christ. That's not Christ. No. That's idolatry. That's right. You picture that people that got a black picture supposed to be Jesus in your home. That's idolatry. Mm -hmm. You people that got Master Fadad Muhammad, you say he's God. Yeah. That's idolatry. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Listen. Call ye on the name of your gods. Call ye on the name of your gods. And I will call. I. I will call. Will call. On the name of the Lord. That's what I will do. Amen. I will call on one. That's right. The church of Jesus Christ calls on one. Amen. And, and I will call on the name of the Lord. Yes. And the God that answers by fire. Here it is. Amen. The God that answers with power. Let him. Let them. Him. Let them. Let him. Let him be what? Be God. Amen. There's nothing like the truth of God nowhere in the world. No. Our God just keep answering by fire. That's right. The Holy Ghost and that with a mighty burning fire. That's right. Uh -huh. And all the people answered and said, it is well they spoken. They agreed to it. That's right. All right. And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, choose you one bullock for yourselves. Now, viewers, the prophets of Baal was engaging in sacrifice. That's right. Offering. Mm -hmm. When you come from some form of religion, you are offering something to a God. That's right. But do you know who is the God that you're serving? That's right. Who is it? Who is he? Mm -hmm. What's his name? Yeah. Where did he come from? Mm -hmm. Did he always exist? Yeah. Did someone make him? Right. Was he begotten? Yeah. Was he born? Is it a woman, a goddess? Is that Bible? Oh, yes. They had the Greek goddess Diana over there in Asia. Asia. And Pastor Paul went there and broke that stuff up. That's right. Uh -huh. And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, right, uh, Choose you one bullock for yourselves. Choose ye one bullock. And dress it first. Dress it up. For ye are many. Ye are many. And call on the name of your God. And. But put no fire under. Don't you put no fire on. And they took the bullock which was given them and they dressed it. Uh -huh. And called on the name of Baal. <laughs> From morning even until noon. Wait a minute. How long were they out there screaming? From morning even until noon. That's one thing about false churches, boy. Them folks that have church all day, almost every day. 
That's right. Until he squeezed the money out of you dry. That's right. People in there running and hollering and running all around the church. Richard, tell you when I count the three, speak in tongue, you jump up and go into some turkey and chicken language <laughs> that don't have nothing to do with the Holy Ghost. No. What did the Holy Ghost say there? And called on the name of Baal from morning. Viewers, who you praying to? Right. Because I'm telling you right now, if you're talking to more than one God, you're talking to Baal. That's right. That's that right. goes for anybody here. That's right. If any of you got a picture in your house supposed to be the Lord's Supper, <laughs> 12 white fellas sitting around the table. Amen. I have to call it for what, it, what they make it. 12 white, guys. 12 white fellas. White fellas. Huh? That's right. Like a band, a group, an orchestra. That's right. Little band of men. <laughs> Always long hair and beard sitting around the table. <laughs> if you had that in your house, you have idolatry. That's right. Who told you Jesus and the apostles look like that? Amen. No one said, well, who them folks in the Bible? I don't know. <laughs> them art, art pictures I see in your Bible, I don't know who they are. But I know that none of them is Jesus. That's right. Get all that so-called Christian artwork mm. out of your house. That's right. That's December right. is coming. So the Bible says be instant in season and out of season. It's summertime now, so I want to kill you before the winter get here. <laughs> Amen. Get all that idolatry out your house. Mm -hmm. I want to say, well, Pastor Jennings, what about the folks that got a picture of you in their house? Oh, nothing wrong with having a picture of me in your house, but you better not make it an idol. Our God is in the heavens. I had some... One of the auxiliaries said, Pastor Jenner, we wanted to print, get some buttons made, big buttons, with your face on it. I said, no, you ain't. <laughs> you ain't getting no buttons with my face on it. For what? You ain't walk around with no buttons. I don't want you, want you to walk around with my face on your lapel. Yeah. Amen. A picture of me is not even allowed in the auditorium where we wish up. Right. It may be in an office somewhere in a hallway, but where we wish up, no pictures of me is allowed. That's right. No pictures of me where we wish up in the auditorium. I don't need, you know, if you go to some churches or on the pulpit, a big picture of the preacher and a big picture of his wife, <laughs> Ananias right. and Sapphire. <laughs> where you wish up, that shouldn't be. Right. Put that trash in your office or put it in your house. But when you wish up, there should not be no, no distraction. Nothing. Let everybody just see God and God's word. That's it. That's right. That's the focus of the church. That's right. That's right. So if any of the first churches of our Lord Jesus Christ, I said, all right, you honor Pastor Jennings, you better not bring one picture of me in the temple where you actually wish up. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. And what? And him only. Him him only. Him, him only. Him. Him only. Only. Shalt thou serve. That's right. Amen. You ain't going to use my picture as no good luck charm. That's right. Amen. I remember a woman told me one day, Pastor, she was coming to the convention. She was a television viewer. Met me for the first time. She shook my hand. Uh, and I, she told me where she come from. I said, how was your flight? She said, oh, it was a little bumpy, but then I remember I had a picture of you in my pocketbook that I downloaded off the internet, and I said, as long as I got this picture, the plane will go down. And I said, sister, and I said, sister, that plane could have went down. They would have found your corpse gripping my picture. That's right. You don't need to get caught up in Pastor Jenny. You don't see me getting caught up in you. <laughs> Do you see me getting caught up in you? No. I cannot keep no planes in the air. That's God doing. That's right. That's right. Amen. Plane to go down with me on it. Amen. Me and William have been on many hundreds and hundreds of flights. Oh, yeah. Where the plane looked like it was about to go down. Amen. Amen. Very plane was coming down the runway, and when the nose went up one time, the whole right engine exploded. Boom. Then the plane collapsed. Boom. That's right. 
That's right. Why are you an apostle? I said, all right, I'm not a pilot. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Going down the runway one time, the wheels blew out. Yeah. We landed in Philadelphia one time, the brakes wouldn't work. Amen. I was on the plane one time, the turbulence was so bad, you know that little cart that they serve you? Yep. The turbulence rocked the plane till the whole wing dipped. The cart got away from the stewardess and it went down and hit other people. She hit the floor. Amen. Other people fell. Yeah. Yeah. What, 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 what was the apostle doing? The apostle <laughs> had both hands on the chair, sweating, leaning over. <laughs> The apostle. the apostle was saying, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I knew who to call on. That's right. Amen. Amen. I looked over at Will. He wasn't calling me. Pastor Gina, Pastor Gina, Pastor Gina. No, he wasn't. No, no. My God, Wayne was tearing like he wanted the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Offering up prayers and Pray. supplication. I want you to hear me. Amen. I want to soak you a little. That's right. Ain't nobody going to make an idol out of me. No. no. You thank God for me, that's all right, but you better not make an idol out of me. You'll still go to hell, go to hell. with the name Jennings in your mouth. That's right. You don't see me making an idol out of you, do you? That's right. You ain't going to make none out of me. You see, a God sent preacher will tell you this. That's right. Yeah. That's, right. that's why I'm pointing the world to God Himself. That's right. I want the world to understand that it is the Lord Himself that shall descend from heaven with the shout and the voice of an archangel, and the dead in Christ shall rise. And if you're not holy, you're going to be lost. That's it. What do you mean if I'm not with Pastor Jennings? No. Oh, if you're not holy. Holy. Blessed and holy. My God, that was here before I was born. That's right. All right, what did the Holy Ghost say here? Now in 1 Kings 18, we're at verse 27. Come on, son. And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, Choose you one bullock for yourselves, and dress it first for ye of many. And call on the name of your gods. Call on the name of your gods. But put no fire Open under no fire it. And they took the bullock which was given them and they dressed it. Yes. And called on the name of Baal from morning even until uh -huh. noon. Saying, oh Baal, hear us. Uh -huh. But Yeah, they, when you got more than one God, that's what you might as well say. Right. Oh devil, hear us. Hear and us. this is what I've been saying for years. You people who don't want to serve God, you don't want to be baptized. In the name of Jesus Christ, you're not repenting for nothing. You don't want the Holy Ghost at all. No. In a moment, your hypocrite and self get in the hospital, get shot, get stabbed, OD, something. Something. Right there, Jesus. <laughs> Why are you calling Jesus? Amen. Huh? Oh, Baal. This is what you should be doing. Saying, oh, Baal, hear us. <laughs> Amen. The rapper don't want to serve God. The rapper endorse homosexuality. The rapper is against church. The rapper make mockery of the Bible. So when the rapper about to die, what should his last breath be? Oh, Baal, hear us. Yes, sir. Amen. When the judge created married two women and two men, what should the judge say? Should he say in the name of Jesus Christ or what should the judge say? Oh, Baal, hear us. Talk to your God. That's right. That's right. Talk to your God. I call on the name of Baal. Call on the name of Baal. From morning. From morning. Even until noon. Because you don't believe in Jesus. That's right. You That's say right. Jesus was an old white European that the Europeans drummed up from Rome. Lord, you fool. That's a fool. That's you will fool. see. You will understand. When the great God of heaven appear up in the heavens, mm -hmm. you will get educated right away when heaven and earth begin to pass away with the great noise and the elements melt with fervent heat by God's permission. That's right. 
Listen. And called on the name of Baal from morning even until noon. And saying, O Baal, hear us. Baal, hear us. But there was no voice. Wait a minute. Amen. There was no voice. Nor any that answered. Nor any that answered. And they leaped upon the altar which was made. They got mad at Baal. Oh, yeah. Come on, Baal, do something, please. Do please, something. Baal, please. help us. And Baal ain't give no answer, so they leaped on the altar that was made. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them. That's what I do. Folks criticize me. Amen. I mock he mock, mocked him. I mocked him. That's right. Huh? That's right. Elijah did what? And Elijah, Elijah mocked, him mocked him and said, Cry aloud. You that talking to three gods, you cry aloud. For he is a god. May, may listen. One of them is a god, I guess. Mm, either. Either. He is talking. Maybe one of them is talking. Or he is pursuing. Maybe he's chasing something. Or he is in a journey. Maybe he's on the long vacation. Or peradventure he's sleeping. Maybe he's knocked out from exhaustion. And must be awake. You got to awaken. When I was in India, the ministers who used to be Hindus, they took me to the Hindu temple. Yeah. It was an interesting experience. Because the Hindus have, oh, in, in India alone, they have over. Three million gods. Do you know how hard it is to obey one? Amen. Do you realize how hard it is to obey one? <laughs> and they had over three million. So when me and the ministers went to the Hindu temple, these brothers used to be Hindus, but now they're walking with the truth of the gospel. They begin to point out the different Hindu idols and their name and whatnot. I never forget this one big idol. And the height looked like it reached from the floor to the ceiling. Had about six to eight arms. Painted pitch black. Big eyes, big red lips. And there was a button on the outside of it. I said, well, why is the button there? Ministers say, well, this is the God. You got to ring the bell to wake him up. <laughs> I said, really? He said, yes. He said, in order for this God to wake up and do something for you, you got to ring the bell. <laughs> so then <laughs> Bishop Simbali, he mocked me. He said, go ahead, ring it. <laughs> so I rung it, not expecting anything to happen. That's right. I rung it and stood there looking. I rung it again, looking. So Minister Haji said, try knocking. I knocked on it. <laughs> Didn't do nothing. <laughs> Millions of people are bowing to idols. And people may wonder why I still preach this. Just like people are serving the true living God, people are serving lifeless Idols by the millions. That's right. And there's a second largest populated country in the world. The largest religion in India is Hindu. The second largest religion in India is Islam. Third so-called largest religion is so-called Christianity. But imagine over three million gods. Mm -hmm. Generations of bowing to them. Praying to them. Mm -hmm. Giving offerings and sacrifice to them. That's like being in a false religion. Being in there for years and you sincere. Working on auxiliaries. Working on helping the preacher. Do all sorts of things. Just to stand before God later to find out you never were serving him. That's right. Praying. Going on church fasts. Yeah. And God ain't recognizing none of it. That's right. You better hear this holy message today. Many will say unto me in that day. Listen. In the book of St. Matthew chapter 7 and at verse 22. Many will say to me in that day. Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils? Look at the preachers. I marvel how the fear of God 
have just disappeared out of church. That's right. A man cannot have fear to get up before people and say, thus saith the Lord. And yet he know he never heard God's voice since he was born. That's right. That's right. How are men so successful in doing this? Because the people are biblically uneducated. Amen. So that empowers your father, yeah. your brother, your uncle, your grandfather. Mm -hmm. They get up and say, God made him a preacher. That's right. That empowers the liar. Yeah. And the first one he tricked is his family members. That's right. How many brothers here? And don't be afraid. Was well, some preacher in a false church you came from? Raise your hand. Brothers out there or up here? How many? How many brothers out there was a preacher in a false church you came from? How many women here was a so-called preacher in a false church you were in? Raise your hand. How many came from a church that taught Trinity? Three distinct persons in the Godhead. Raise your hand. How many came from under women preachers? How many came from the church that justified divorce and remarried? How many came from church that baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Put both of your hands up, Williams. You see how slick he tried to do it? <laughs> He's so slick. One hand in the Bible and put the other hand up. That's the devil. <laughs> Think of it. What was it about you that God did not cut you off in your sins and in the midst of being blind and deceive of the devil. Because God says he know them that are his. That means this. Even while we were in falsehood. At that appointed time. And appointed day. God knew he would touch his heart. His heart. His heart. Her heart. Her heart. Why? God know them that are his. I want to say, well, Pastor Jennings, what did I do for me to deserve such a blessing? Nothing. Nothing. It is plainly written, not by works of righteousness that ye have done, mm. but by his mercy he saved us. That's right. By the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you viewers wonder why the truth of God program makes so much noise? Yeah. We have a lot to thank God for here. That's right. Go oh, back to the book of Kings, son. What did he say? Back in 1 Kings 18 and verse 27. Come on so I can and, knock off. And it came to pass that Elijah mocked him he and mocked said, him cry, and aloud, said cry aloud. For he is a God. He is a God. Either he is talking or he is pursuing or he is in a journey. And but peradventure he sleepeth and must be awake. Yes. And they cried aloud and cut themselves after their manner. They cut themselves after their manner. With knives and, knives lances, and lances. Till the blood gushed out upon oh, them. Oh, they got so angry because the devil didn't answer them. They start brutalizing themselves. That's right. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass when midday was past. What did happen? And they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice uh -huh. that there was neither voice nor any to answer nor any that regarded. What else? And Elijah said unto all the people, come near unto me. Come unto me. And all the people came near unto him, and he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. Now, viewers, the tearing down of the altar, altar. represents the tearing down of the sacred place That's right. where sacrifice should be given. That's right. The churches have been torn down. That's right. They are not sacred no more. No. They are no longer the houses of God. No, no. They have become the houses of Baal 
That's why God is the least important subject in church. That's right. What have took the place of God in church? Entertainment, money, notoriety, power. That's right. Not God. Not you turn on any mega church devil from America. They ain't talking about no God. They just got a motivational message that show you how to be rich, how to be wealthy, and they call that self-empowerment. <laughs> Imagine that. Churches have to get a celebrity mm. to motivate the people. Lord. Church got to hire entertainers mm. to motivate the people. My Lord. Celebrities come to first church moreover. But they all have heard me say, I don't care if you got so much money, you turn green as the money. Amen. What do a rich person got in common with a poor person? Birth and death. Birth and death. That's why I'm not impressed with a rich person living, and I know plenty of them. That's right. You was born the same way you came, the same way you going out. Nigga, you came into the world, and nigga, you shall return. That's right. What did the Holy Ghost say? And all the people came near unto him. And said what? And he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. Wait a minute. He repaired what? He repaired the, the altar, altar of the Lord. What condition was it in? Was broken down. That's what the truth of God is doing. Yeah. That's right. We are in the church repair business. Repair. Yeah. All of us. Was broken down by some religion. Oh, yeah. Until the mechanics came. <laughs> the prophets and the apostles. That's right. Came with his God everlasting word. Mm -hmm. To fix us where we were broken. Oh, yeah. It's a blessing God knows. That's right. For God to put you back together. And then make you better than you ever was. That's right. Huh? Viewers. You're broken. Broken. Broken down. Anytime you got another religion under the sun and that stuff is not holy, you broken. broken. I don't care if you're shaking and rolling on the floor and falling out, standing up in the church and a preacher slapping his hands on you, yeah. slapping you on the floor and a bunch of women catching you like they back catchers in a baseball game. That's right. You're broken. Broken down. Huh? That's right. What is it? And he repaired the altar of we the Lord. We want the repair. When you repair the altar, you get the lies out the church. Mm -hmm. Two gods in heaven, flesh and blood in heaven, women preachers, divorced and remarried, more than one God, junior bishop, junior elders, first ladies, preachers ought to get paid for preaching and all that rubbish. Right. You let a man come here and preach for a week. All right. <laughs> preach for a week. Won't give you nothing. <laughs> That's right. Won't give you nothing. Won't give you nothing. Won't give you anything. I'll <laughs> shake your hand. And if you told the truth, I'll tell you I enjoy it. But I won't give you a dime. I'll shake your hand and tell you I enjoyed you. Hope you come see me again whenever you're able. But I won't give you nothing. That's right. I may give you a Bible if that. If that. <laughs> Otherwise than that, I won't give you an orange penny. That's right. That's how I test men. Mm -hmm. I remember a false prophet came from Jamaica, New York, years ago. Wanted to preach so bad, he kept bugging me and bugging me. I was still uh, meeting in the basement, I believe, then, or either on Briar Road. So I said, all right, come on. He came over and screamed and hollering, twisting, turned around and spent around. And right. I sat in the pulpit and looked at him with great boredom. <laughs> Because God was not in the twisting or the turning or the yelling. There was nothing there. That's right. Amen. I was like in a cemetery. I got more joy out of the sound of crickets. So after he went back to New York that Monday, he called me and told me how much he enjoyed the service. He said, but you forgot something. And I knew what he was going to say. I said, what did I forget, Bishop? He said, you forgot the offering. I said, no, I didn't. He said, you didn't? I said, no, I didn't plan on giving you one. 
I say you said you come to preach the word. the word. It shouldn't matter to you whether you get an offering or not. That's right. Don't misunderstand me. If you give the brother an offering, fine. But if you don't, the brother shouldn't whine. Amen. Shouldn't cry. Shouldn't expect it. That's right. When we go somewhere to preach, I don't expect money. I expect souls to be saved. Amen. Amen. Think of it. I've been coming to Jamaica this year, believe it or not, make 30 years. Wow. Amen. I came here long before I met Gary and his father. I came here first in 1989. I got married on that Saturday. I preached that Saturday night. I preached that Sunday morning. And my wife and some other saints got on a plane that Monday, came to Jamaica. Right. And the first one I met was Elder Banton. Yes. Yeah. Up in, uh, what's the name of that area? South Field. South Field. South Field. Yeah, South Field. Banton was the first one I met. Yeah. Preached in his house. Mm -hmm. I want to say, you just got married that Saturday. And two days later, I was in Jamaica preaching. Had my, had my new wife with me. Yeah. <laughs> and had Wayne with me. That's Didn't right. have him around on the honeymoon, but he was around reading. <laughs> Up in Mandeville. Mandeville. Banton. That was in 1989 yeah. when I first came here. That's right. Hey, Amen. This year, I, I thought about it since I've been here. It hit me when I was in the hotel. I've been coming here for 30 years. Wow. 30 years. Amen. We had no radio broadcast then. We had no radio broadcast then. No. Nothing. People heard of me by a word of mouth. And then years later, we had a radio broadcast station called the Caribbean Beacon. And that signal came here to Jamaica. And that's when I started getting letters out of Jamaica. The Caribbean Beacon. God has blessed us to do more in all those 30 years than most men done in their lifetime. Amen. And I have to give God thanks. We've been coming down here pounding. Oh, yeah. Pounding. I first came here. When I first came here, I was 26 years old. Amen. 26 years old, I came here. Wow. Amen. Williams was about what? About 30, uh, 31? About, yeah, about, yeah about 30, 31. And we was hammering up there in Mandeville. A lot of you didn't know that. 30 years we've been coming here. Wow. Wow. Then later on in years, when I came back over, that's when I met Robinson and his father and all of them at the burial site and whatnot. And I was wearing out the old preachers. Amen. That was back there, I think, what, 99, wasn't it? Ten years later, come yes. back. Yeah. They had no idea I was here ten years earlier. <laughs> Every time I come here, I ask Brother Gary, have you heard or seen anything about Banton? Banton was the first minister I met in Jamaica. So Banton, if you're watching, if you're still living, <laughs> I'm looking for you. Amen. I thank God for Jamaica. When I look at all what God has done. We're doing like the prophet Elijah all through the island. We're tearing down the altars of Baal. That's right. 
and rebuilding church. Mm -hmm. Real quick. And all the people came near unto him. And said what? And he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. Uh -huh. And Elijah took 12 stones, according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob. He got 12 stones, according which represent the 12 tribes of Israel. Unto whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall, Israel be, thy name. shall be thy name. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord. If you take note, the prophets of Baal didn't use a stone no. to build an altar. They just put wood. Wood in order. But Elijah done it the right way. And with the stones, with the stones he built an altar, he built an altar in the, name, in of the, the Lord. name of the Lord. That's why the church is not named after me. That's right. It's the church of our Lord Jesus Christ or the church from the Lord Jesus Christ or the church by the Lord Jesus Christ because it's in the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he made a trench about the altar. He a trench around the altar. As great as would contain oh, two really measures of seed. Oh, he's really challenging Baal prophets. Uh -huh. And he put the wood in order. What? And he put the wood in order. Hold it. The wood represents the people. People. God told Jeremiah, I make the people wood and make thine words fire and it shall consume them. Mm. He put the wood how? And he put the wood in order. It don't say that about Baal prophets. No. The people are out of order. So it takes a man of God to put the people or the wood in order. In order. And to put them in order, you got to use the scriptures for the book says that everything be done decently and in order. In order. Mm -hmm. And he put the wood in order. Then what? And cut the bullock in pieces and, and laid him on the wood. Yes. And said, fill four barrels with water. Fill four barrels with water. And pour it on the burnt sacrifice and on the wood. And what? And he said, do it the second time. And what? And they did it the second time. What else? And he said, do it the third time. And Wait they, a minute. He did it the third time? And they did it and the it third time. And it was four time. barrels of water. Mm -hmm. Four times three is twelve. Twelve. Twelve stones. Right. Pour water twelve right. times. Right. Why? Each stone had to have water. Water. The balance out with what Peter would say. Right. Let all the house of Israel know us surely. surely. And everything that came out of each tribe would have to go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. What else? And the water ran about the altar. Ran about the altar. And he filled the trench also with water. And he filled the trench with water. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice. What did the prophet do? That Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham. Glory to God. He know who to call on. That's right. Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, Isaac and of Israel, Jacob, let it be known Hallelujah. this day. Glory to God. Glory, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you know who your God is and you know he's real, you don't mind thundering it to Hallelujah. creation. Hallelujah. Let it be known this day, right now, that thou art God in Israel. That thou art God in Israel. Not God's. God. Thou art God in Israel. In Israel. And that I am thy servant. I am thine servant. And that I have done all these I've things done at everything thy at word. Your word. Hear me, O oh Lord. Wait a minute. Hallelujah. <laughs> that sounds so beautiful. Yeah. What did he say? Hear me. Hear me. O oh Lord. O oh Lord. Hear, hear me. me. Amen. That this people may that know. This people may understand. That, that thou that art the thou Lord art God. The Lord God. And that thou hast turned their heart back All again. All the prophets prayed to one. That's yes. right. Yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want every Catholic to hear me. Hear me, O oh Lord. Hear me. You don't find where nobody in the Bible prayed to Mary? No. Hallelujah. Well, Mary was the mother of God. That's a lie. That's a lie. Here's a man talking to God before Mary was born. That's right. Let it be known this day. Here's a man talking to God and Mary was not born. Hear me, O oh Lord, hear me. Hear me, O oh Mary, hear me. Hear me, O oh Lord, hear me. Hear me, O oh Mary, hear me. Hear me, O oh Lord, hear me. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Come on back to Bible. That's right. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You Catholics out there bowing to statues of Mary and all of that folly. And here's Mary got bird droppings on her. Cats walking by, raising his leg, urinating on her. That's right. 
That's right. Anyone pray to Mary, use a fool and deceive of the devil That's out right. of hell. Oh, yeah. Get me now. Hear me, O oh Lord, hear me. Hear me, O oh Lord. That this, me. that this people may that know. That the world may know. That thou art the Lord God. And that thou hast turned their heart back again. Then what? Then the fire of the Lord fell. You think, you think we're going to go after any other God apart from the God of Elijah? Amen. Hallelujah. Then the fire of the Lord take fell. The fire of God fell. And consumed the burnt sacrifice. Consumed the sacrifice. And the wood. Wood. And the stones. That's what's happening now. This message is consuming the false church. That's right. Preachers are panicking, telling people, don't listen to them. Yeah. Don't watch them. Yeah. I had a fella <laughs> came to Wisconsin, I believe it was, gave me his testimony, was a minister. He said, Pastor Jennings, I told my bishop about you, and come to find out my bishop knew who you was. My bishop told me, don't listen to that man. Please don't listen to him. Lord. And he said, one day I came to church earlier, and I heard something coming out the hallway and my bishop office door was open and he was watching you on television. <laughs> he said, I thought you told me not to listen. He said, the bishop just look. This is the message the whole world got to listen to. That's right. What is it that makes the enemies of the truth of God keep watching it every single chance they get? Amen. Whenever a new message pop up on YouTube, the enemies come right back yeah. and watch the whole message and comment how bad you hate it, but you're right back again waiting for the next one. That's right. You can't help yourself. That's right. That's right. Why? The fire is consuming fire. you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. It's consuming it. That's right. What did he say? Then the fire of the Lord fell. Then the fire of God fell. And, and consumed the burnt sacrifice. Consumed the burnt sacrifice. And the wood. The wood. And the stones. The stones. And the dust. The dust. And licked up the and water that was up in the, the water trench. that was in it. And when all the people saw it. What did Baal prophets do, son? They fell on their faces and said, The Lord. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute now. Just a minute. Before then. Bell Prophets was calling on G-O-D-S. G-O-D-S. But after the fire came from heaven and ripped up everything. That's right. What did Bell Prophets do? They fell on their faces. And did what? And they said, the Lord, he is the God. No. Amen. The Lord is the G-O-D-S. And they said, the Lord, he is the G-O-D. I want this to be good for Chicago. You say Jesus Christ is not God, right? Mm -hmm. Read that again. Who is it? And they said, the Lord, he is the God. Give me John 20, 28. John 20, 28. And Thomas answered Thomas and said unto him. answered and said to Jesus. My Lord. My Lord. And my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what the king said? And they said, the Lord, he is the God. And what did Thomas say to Jesus? Thomas answered and said unto him, my Lord and my God. All right. Hallelujah. All right. I want this. Wait a minute. What should the Baptists do? Fell on their faces. And what? And they said, the Lord, he is the God. What the Methodists got to do? Fell on their faces and said, the Lord, he he is the God. What do all the Trinitarians got to do? And they said, the Lord, he is the God. What do the Parliament of Jamaica got to do? They fell on their faces and they said, the Lord, he is the God. What do the Prime Minister of Jamaica got to do? They fell on their faces and said, the Lord, he is the God. What do all the elected officials of Jamaica got to do? They fell on their faces and said, the Lord, he is the God. What do Donald Dump got to do? They fell on their faces and said, the Lord, he is the God. Pastor Jenner, you meant to say Donald Trump. No, I didn't. Amen. <laughs> All right. Hallelujah. He got to fall on his face. Fall on his face. Every preacher, every black, white, brown, yellow human being on the planet. That's right. You got to fall on your face. Fall on the face. And you got to confess. 
the Lord, the Lord, he is the all God. All of you got more than one God. You got to retract your statement right. like Baal prophets did right. and acknowledge the Lord is God He's and you God. got to fall on your face to do it. That's which right. Which shows humility and submission. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You got to surrender. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything, everything. Got to surrender. Got to. You fools in America that read the scripture and the book of Acts of the Apostles that Jesus standing on the right hand of God. And remember Thomas said to Jesus that he's Lord and God. And, God. and you come out like a blind fool thinking Jesus is on the right hand of someone else. That's right. Look at what I'm about to tell you. Jesus is the one that he was seeing on the right hand of. That's right. That sounds like a riddle, don't it? Yeah. That sounds like a riddle. Yeah. I saw Jesus standing on the right hand of God. And Jesus was the one that he was seen standing on the right hand of. That's right. All right. That's right. <laughs> Why? He's Lord, Lord and, and God. God. And God. Right hand mean power. Right hand mean authority. Right hand mean majesty. Yeah. Jesus was not on the right hand of somebody else. And I dare you preacher to show up and say otherwise. otherwise. I make you lick up that two God. That's right. Listen now. I make your tongue lick it up from the state to state, coast to coast. Amen. The Lord, he, he is the not God. they, he. he. He is the God. The truth he of God are one God worshippers here. That's right. We are one God worshippers. Right. And let's, let's listen at what I'm about to tell you. If you have any other God other than the God of the prophets or the God of the apostles, Hallelujah. you don't have the right God. That's right. You're serving the devil. Mm -hmm. They bowed. And when all the fell people on saw their it, face. they fell on their faces. And said what? And they said, the Lord, he is the God. I'm glad for the day I fell on my face. Amen. And acknowledge who God was. That's right. You that are here, you might as well get ready to surrender. You that are watching, mm -hmm. fall on your face. Fall on your face. Fall clean out of your religion. That's right. Roll right out of it. This is what everybody got to do here in Jamaica and the world. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Here it is. Amen. Repent. Amen. And be baptized. You're not watching these preachers on television repeating some sinner's prayer. Turn that liar off. Turn him off. You no more saved than a pig can speak in tongue. That's right. And ain't never saw a pig speak in tongue. And you never will. Never will. <laughs> Amen. The Holy Ghost said. Then Peter said unto them, repent. No, join the church. Repent. <laughs> Bow your head and raise your hands and accept Christ as your personal Savior. Repent. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart and you are saved. Repent. Hold a preacher's hand and repeat a sinner's prayer. Peter said unto them, repent. Why do God want you to repent, heathen? Amen. Heathen, heathen, liar, mm. homosexual, lesbian, yeah. false prophet, mm -hmm. churchgoer. Why does God want you to repent? repent? Because you're a sinner. That's right. Amen. You're evil. You're wicked. wicked. You're of your father, the devil. That's right. And God wants you to have remorse for your wickedness. He wants you to repent. repent. And after you sorry about your wrong, I don't have to fight with you no. to get you in water. Oh, no. Young gangbanger mm -hmm. that walk around with your pants hanging down. You got plaits in your hair like a woman. Yeah. You men that want to wear your hair long like a woman. That's right. What you got to do here? Repent. 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 And be baptized. How much? Every one of you. How much of the world? Every one of you. How must it be done? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what reason? For the remission of sins. That's how you get your sins washed away. That's right. And then what? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's a blessing, isn't it? Oh, yes. Because he said the promise. Is unto you. And. And to your children. And unto them. And to all that are far off. Even as many. As the Lord our God shall call. All right, you that are here. You that are here. That's whether you're outside or inside. If you've been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you just got wet. That's you're right. not saved. Not saved. 
If you bow your head and raise your hands, you're not saved. That's right. You join the church, you're not saved. That's right. The only way you got your sins washed away is if you repented of those sins and was baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody want to get the right baptism, the right way, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet if you want it and come to the front. If you're outside, come on the inside and come to the front. If you're outside, come on the inside and come to the front. All of you that want to be baptized, come over here to my left. If you're outside, come inside. If you're standing in the back, come on up. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, I say. Hallelujah. The Lord Hallelujah. He is God. Hallelujah. If you're outside, come on. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? Glory to God. That's wonderful. Hallelujah. Still coming. Hallelujah. If you're outside, come on. If you're standing, if you're sitting. Come on. Glory to God. Get ready to repent and go down in water. Hallelujah to God on high. Come on. Come on, Jamaica. Come on, I said. Hallelujah. Come on on God's side. Hallelujah. Jesus said, my sheep will hear my voice. Who will take God and the stranger they won't follow? Repent. Repent. Repent, I say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who will take God and be baptized? This is a universal call. Come on. Brother and sister, come on. Children, don't wait on your mom and father. Save yourself. That's right. Well, my daddy said I can't be baptized. God said, save yourself. Save yourself. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. This is the greatest message in the world. Amen. Amen. If you call yourself a preacher, if you call yourself a preacher, Hallelujah. and you have not been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, Mr. Preacher, Mr. Preacher, Mr. Preacher, Mr. Preacher, Mr. Preacher you're still a sinner. Sinner getting up in the pulpit trying to preach to people, and you still in your sins. You're nothing but a sinner. Bishop, apostle, prophet, elder, evangelist, junior bishop. Amen. Amen. Bible says what? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. And what? And be baptized. How much? Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. And? For the remission of sins. And what the Holy Ghost said. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. God gave us all something good. Amen. The churches are being rebuilt. <laughs> Why the false prophets are working overtime. Trying to tear down the altars. The truth of God is rebuilding the altars. And we're calling on the name of our Hello. God. That's right. That's why the truth of God just keeps weathering every storm. That's right. You false prophets and people that holler, we don't feel it. No, we don't feel it at all. We find it wonderful. Amen. When I see heathens get upset, they wish we were dead. Amen. I remember years ago, someone sent a letter. A false prophet said he wished that all the churches in a first church would be burnt to the ground. Lord. And then someone told me that he said, I wrote the letter. Why would I want first church to be burnt to the ground? Oh my God. We have haters on every part of the world. But at the same time, we got millions that love it. That's right. This is the message for the last days. 
May God help you. May God keep you. May God preserve you. What time service start this evening? Six o'clock? Come on back this evening. Service will begin at six o'clock. Amen. Come on back this evening. Let us all stand. Brother Gary will close us out in prayer. Great God and everlasting Father Jesus Christ, we thank you, God, for this opportunity to be together one more time, Lord God, in this assembly. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for the words that did go forth. We thank you, God, for the one who have sent among us, Lord God, to encourage us, O God, and instruct us in the way of righteousness. We thank you for him, Lord. We thank you for his faithfulness. We thank you for the words that you have given unto him. O God, we ask you to help us that we might receive it, Lord Jesus Christ, and apply it to our lives. We thank you for the souls that did come forth, Lord God, for baptism in your name. Pray you strengthen them and keep them and keep them coming, O God. O God, that the people might see you and run for their lives. O God, strengthen us, Lord God, that we might stick to the word and encourage your people, Lord, so that they can go into the kingdom. Forgive us for all unrighteousness and blood out of our transgression. Keep us in thy right hand. Whatever things we fail to ask of thee, Lord God, we pray you grant unto us. Be with us, Lord Jesus Christ. Give us strength. Give us peace. O God, and help us to stay in the faith. Lord, that, that at the end of it all, we might hear well done. These are the mercies we ask in your name, Jesus Christ, we pray we say, Amen. Praise God.